G'day all, Simon here, Explosive Action, and I'm back with a different kind of video today. You might remember a couple of months ago, I did a video where I went up to my local markets and I bought a whole bunch of science fiction pulp novels for very cheap. I picked up about 40 novels or so and I paid about 40 Australian dollars. And um, that was very exciting because they were so cheap and there were so many and the covers were fantastic. I went up there again today, same seller, same novels, but this time he said, just take them, take them for free. They're taken up too much space in my house, get them out of here and take some bags to fill them with. So here's my uh, new science fiction collection that I didn't pay anything for. Okay, so here's the first tub, the first of three. I'm gonna very, very quickly go through them and just have a look at the covers. The first one is Question and Answer from Paul Anderson. This one is an anthology called Men, Men and Machines, uh, edited by Robert Silverberg. There's a few of his in here. This one is John Brummer's Telepathist. Another Robert Silverberg, Earth's Other Shadow. Uh, Legacy of the Stars from John Gregory. Clifford D. Simax, Ring Around the Sun. More Robert Silverberg. This one is Those Who Watch. I love the spaceship cover on that one. This one's called The Incandescent, Incandescent Ones from uh, Fred and Jeffrey Hoyle. Uh, Larry Nevin with A Gift from Earth. Future World by John Gribben. Frontera by Lewis Shiner. Looks very post apocalyptic, that one. Uh, the Micro Colony by Gordon Williams. Uh, Damnation Alley by Roger Zelanzi. Uh, I got another copy of this in the first haul from a couple of months ago. Uh, it was in slightly better condition. This one's got a rip in the cover. Uh, Clifford D. Simak again, Our Children's Children. Uh, Gene Snyder's Mind War. Uh, Elliston and Trevor's The Flight of the Phoenix. The Wonder Effect, Frederick Pohl and C.M. Cornbluth. Uh, Robert si Silvenberg again, uh, The Seed of Earth. Very interesting cover, that. The Dream Millennium by James White. Uh, Robert Silverberg again with Sundance and other science fiction stories. Jack Vance, Star King. Jerry Pornell, High Justice. Now this one is an awesome cover. Really, really good. I love that cover. Jack Vance again, and Star King. Two copies of Star King. Frederick Pohl, The Man Who Ate the World. Rod Serling's Other Worlds. Robert Silverberg again, Needle in a Time Stack. I like that minimalistic cover. Theodore Sturgeon, Venus Plus X. Roger Zelanzi, The Dream Master. Very, very interesting cover there. Hard to work out what's going on. Three quarters. I love that gooey brain in the skull. And it's actually like a real photo composition anyway. Seems to be about a plague. Very cool. Invaders from Rigel. How 50s is this look? Awesome. Clifford Simak with City. Uh, 
Michael Reeves and Steve Perry with Dome. Cosmic Custodian, Celestial Wizard, Que WW, The Prophets of Evil. Interesting. Robert Silverberg again, The Time Hoppers. A.E. Van Voigt, The Silky. And last one in this box. Robert Silverberg with The Second Trip. On to box number two. We get James Blish, The Seeding Stars. Uh, James Blish, Norman Knight, A Torrent of Faces. John Brunner, Not Before Time. Paul Anderson, Orbit Unlimited. Paul Anderson, Shield. Paul Anderson, The Horn of Time. Paul Anderson, Planet of Return, No Return. So I certainly liked his Powell Andersons. The Earth Tripper by Leo P. Kelly. Very cool cover on that. Space Voyage by D. Ellis. Arthur O'Friel, The Pathless Trail. Almost looks Hobbit like that. Frederick Forsyth, The Shepherd. Uh, Brian Aldiss, who also did uh, Space Time Nathaniel, The Interpreter. Very, very cool cover. Brian Aldiss, Hot House. I've been informed this is actually a pretty good one. Barrington Bailey, The Knights of the Limits. And this cover I really, really enjoy. The Integrated Man, Michael Berylin. Got a coin slot in the back of his neck. And I just, and I like anything that's got that typeface, that 1980 computer typeface. James Blish, Any When. New Worlds 10. Crazy looking thing there. Edited by Hilary Bailey. It's a compilation of stories. Cool cover here, 2001 AD. Uh, nothing to do with the movie. Atomic power relation. James Blish, Cities in Flight. Earthman, Come Home. More from Aldous report on probability A. Uh, Ray Bradbury, Martian Chronicles. It's quite a well-known one. There was a TV uh, version of this book as well. Rogue Moon by Algus Berdris. Damien Broderick, Striped Holes. Reflective uh, typeface at the top. James Blish again, The Night Shapes. Philip Jose Farmer, The Tongues of the Moon. Clifford D. Sinak, Enchanted Pilgrimage. Dig that out as well. Uh, Algus Burgess again. Some will not die. Cool tank. Decade, the 1960s. Edited by Brian Algus and Harry Harrison. John Brunner, The Stone That Never Came Down. Interesting shot there. I'll just Burgess, who? 
very, very interesting cover. Science Fiction 23, the new writings, edited by Kenneth Bulmer. Time is the simplest thing, Clifford Simak again. Shaggy Planet by Ron Goulart. That's a very different style of cover to what we've been looking at already. Very interesting. To the scattered bodies go, Philip Jose Farmer. Uh, Brian Aldous again, the 80 minute hour. Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. Brian Aldous, the moment of eclipse. Final stage, the ultimate science fiction anthology. She's uh, giving me a bit of the wink there. Oh, those big space boobies. Got some Isaac Asimov in that one. Flight of the Chariots, John Cleary. Two more to go. The Wild Alien Tamer. Looks like a Dungeons and Dragons book. And last one for the second box, Future for Sale, by Richard Saxon. And on to the third box now. We start with uh, Frank Belknap Long, The Hounds of Tinderloss. Uh, this one's called The Dark Side, by Zach Hughes. Got something chopped out of the cover there, which is unfortunate, but... Hey, the price of these was very much right. John Morrissey under a circul calculating star. I like that kind of demon bird thing going on there. Sweetheart, sweetheart, Bernard Taylor. The evil spirits. A Thunder of Stars, Dan Morgan, John Kippix. Dark Light Years by Brian Aldous. This one looks like a video game from 1991. Andre Norton's Breed to Come. Clark Ashton Smith, Genius Loci, and Other Tales. Simply called Alien, but nothing to do with the movie Alien, uh, by George H. Leonard. It's a UFO chase thriller. Rod Sterling's More Stories from the Twilight Zone. It's very cool. Third from the Sun, Richard Matheson. Uh, Damon Knight in Deep. Space Skimmer, David Gerald. Henry Kuttner, Fury. Interesting shot there. The Sleep Eaters, John Lymington. I like that cover. James Blish, Midsummer Century. And that's a pretty epic looking thing as well. Uh, Slow Fall to Dawn by Stephen Lee. After the Apocalypse by W. Randolph Fox. Very spooky looking shot there. Uh, Clifford D. Simark, why call them back from heaven? Fifth Planet, Fred and Jeffrey Hoyle. John Boyd, The Pollinators of Eden. Very cool. The most stunning novel of global terror since Day of the Triffids, Zeno by D.F. Jones. Space Scorpion. Interesting title in this one, John Sladek's The Reproductive System. Doesn't look like uh, anything I would have learnt in uh, year eight, but anyway. Robert Silverberg again, Capricorn Games. 
very interesting drawing. More Robert Silverberg to open the sky. Joseph Green, Gold the Man. Robo Brain. What's going on there? Mark Aldred, Voltafus. Keith Lormer and Roselle George Brown Earthblood. It's a pretty epic looking thing going on there. Very strange. Paul Anderson, Guardians of Time. Paul Anderson, uh, Beyond the Beyonds, written at the top. His head's being split. Seeking the Mythical Future, Trevor Hoyle. Uh, Fred and Jeffrey Hoyle again, The Inferno. Really, really nice art, that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Sam J. Lundwell, Alice's World. Oops. Uh, Fritz Lieber, The Big Time. David Lake, Walkers on the Sky. Looks like some kind of 1980s heavy metal album. Heart Clock, Dick Morland. Very interesting. One Million Centuries, Richard A. Lupoff. The Best of Keith Lorma. Two to go in this box. Richard McKenna, Casey Ag... Agonist, Agonists, Casey Agonists, and other science fiction and fantasy stories. Last one in the box. Gary Kilworth in Solitary. Cool skull. Couple of overflows from the box. We have Robert Silverberg with Triax. More space boobies there. And Brian Aldis with Earthworks. The next few I've got here are all movie novelizations. This is Harlequin by Keith uh, Heatherton. Heather Heatherington. This one says it's now a motion mo major motion picture. So the book came first. Obviously, we know Back to the Future. Uh, finally, have a copy of Neuromancer, which I've been curious about for 30 years. Uh, this one's got uh, the same artwork used on a Righteous Pig's. Uh, uh, metal uh, album, which is pretty cool. So here you go, Neuromancer. The Man Who Fell to Earth. I like the skeletons on this one. I have a Die Hard book um, written by Roderick Thorpe. It says, uh, it said it on here somewhere, it had a different name. Um, can't find it. Oh, there it is. It was originally published as Nothing Lasts Forever, and then presumably they've renamed it to match the movie. So, Die Hard. This one is quite a bigger book. This one is called uh, Inter Interfaces. It's got some sort of crystal thing going on here. Another anthology of speculative fiction. Quite a beefy one. And I got a few... Uh, Hardcover things, some uh, annuals. This is an annual of Action Man from 1979. Let's take a quick look. In pretty good condition, this one. Little puzzle that's been done. Somebody's done the crossword. Then we've got uh, Terror Hawks, which is really, really cool. Quick flick through that one. A 
Very nice. And the last one we've got from 1971, Thunderbirds Annual. Quite a heavy thing too. I must admit, Thunderbirds was one of those shows that my brother enjoyed, but I never really did. Just didn't really give it the time. But there you go. Thunderbirds Annual. And that's all. That's just a quick go through of the books that I picked up today. And I'm uh, very much happy with the price. In fact, I paid more just to buy the tubs to store them in. Um, and uh, yes, indeed, I do now have three copies of Space Time and Nathaniel, which is just hilarious to me. So matches the shirt that I'm wearing. One that I bought online and then two that I picked up today for free. One of them's better condition than what I had. So there you go. Hope you'll really enjoyed. Um, if you've read any of these books, please do write in the comments ones that you enjoyed. Uh, any that I should look out for. It's quite a large collection, and I'm just going to pick them at random unless I get some uh, some suggestions. Uh, obviously, new romances up the top, but uh, let me know if there's any I should check out first. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time.